child rape by police is a deeply disturbing and heinous crime that not only violates the victim, but also breaches the trust placed in law enforcement authorities. Cases involving such crimes can have profound and long-lasting impacts on victims, their families, and communities. These incidents often lead to calls for stringent accountability, reform in police practices, and enhanced measures to protect vulnerable individuals. He took an oath to protect and serve, but an Akron police officer is now on the other side of the law facing child pornography charges. BCI agents arrested Officer Jeffrey Parker, who was then booked into the Summit County Jail. News 5's Bob Jones broke this story for you this morning and now tonight brings us the very latest on what we know so far about this case. Investigators tell News 5 that a tip about Officer Jeffrey Parker came into the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, also known as NCMEC, which then made a referral to the Ohio Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force in Cuyahoga County. BCI agents took over the investigation and the officer was arrested on multiple counts of pandering obscenity of a minor and illegal use of a minor in nudity oriented material. It's always um, a bit shocking to, to hear that somebody in a position of trust could be doing this. We unfortunately know based on the, the reports that we see. Uh, that this does span all walks of life. Fallon McNulty, the director of the Nick Mick cyber tip line, couldn't talk specifically about the tip regarding the officer or any allegations against him. But she said in general, tips from the public are crucial to protect children. Last year, the agency received 36 million reports. Those reports are so important because this is the upload of child sexual abuse material, could be instances like online enticement or sextortion. Parker has been on the police force for four Four years. Akron Police Chief Brian Harding said, in part, I am sickened to learn of these charges against one of our employees. Anyone engaging in this behavior should be held accountable for their actions to the fullest extent possible by law. And Akron Mayor Shamas Malik said, in part, I find the alleged behavior of Officer Parker to be disgusting and morally reprehensible. Tim Dimoff is a former Akron police officer, a private investigator now. Like this, what's your initial reaction when you hear that it's a police officer accused? I think it hits home, it's, it, it strikes harder, and it's, it's more disgusting and more disappointing because we put our professional people at a higher level. This is the second time in two years that an Akron officer has been accused of crimes against children. Former officer Michael Dillon, who secretly filmed and inappropriately touched a young girl, got 13 to 17 years in prison. Parker's case now expected to go before a grand jury. According to Akron Police, Officer Parker is on paid leave per department procedure and the union contract. The president of the Akron FOP Lodge told me the union does not condone any criminal behavior and the FOP is not representing Officer Parker in this criminal matter. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together 
to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.